The Artist Who Painted a Blue Horse by Eric Carl. I am an artist and I paint a blue horse and a red crocodile and a yellow cow and a pink rabbit and a green lion and an orange elephant and a purple fox and a black polar bear and a polka dotted donkey. I am a good artist. Eric Carle's popular artwork is fascinating to everyone from toddlers to grown-ups. His picture books are classics on many family bookshelves. But the story of the artist who painted a blue horse began long before Eric Carle, with a different artist and a different horse. Franz Marc, a modern and expressionist artist in Germany, painted stylized animals in vivid, unrealistic colors. His works, including those of the blue horse, were censored by the Nazis, who only allowed realistic art. But as a boy, Eric Carle was inspired by the freedom of the forbidden art form. His art teacher secretly showed him expressionist abstract art, and Eric Carle grew to love painting in the wrong colors. Let's create our own blue horse. We'll start by tearing our tissue paper to make shapes for a collage. Later, we will overlap these pieces and glue them on the back of our cutout. We'll need lots of strips of different sizes, and we can create texture by crinkling and folding the paper. The tissue paper is so thin that when the light shines through it, every little wrinkle will stand out. You can tear your paper or grab a pair of scissors to cut it into unique shapes. Play around and see what you can create. Look closely at the illustrations of this book. The different textures in the paintings really make the animals stand out. We'll want to add lots of different textures to our blue horse too. Try experimenting with different ways of folding the tissue paper. If you roll it over and over and crease it down, you can make all the lines go in the same direction. You can even fold it the other way so that the lines cross each other. When you add it to the collage, it will look like the brush strokes of Eric Carle's paintings. Now we're ready to create our collage. Cover the back of the horse cutout with a glue stick. It doesn't have to go right up to the edges, but you'll want glue on most of the white space. Now choose your favorite collage pieces and glue them down. Lay them across the opening of the horse cutout and let the edges overlap. This will create different shades of blue as the light shines through it. If you want the light to be able to shine through your horse, try not to put too many layers in one place. The more pieces of tissue paper you build up, the less light will shine through. You might like to have some places be lighter and some places darker on your horse. And if you change your mind about a piece, you can always peel it off and put on something different.
When you've finished arranging the pieces, start gluing down any corners that might stick up. You won't need a lot of glue, just a tiny bit to make sure that it doesn't fall off. Then trim back any extra paper that hangs over the edge. Take a look and see if there's anything you'd like to change. You can glue on some smaller pieces of tissue paper to add details to your horse. You could even add spots or stripes. Or maybe even polka dots. Now our blue horse is ready. Let's display it in the window to catch the sunlight. If you are inspired, try making other animals in the wrong colors. For more information about receiving STEAM kits in the mail, visit the Kids and Families page at coosbaylibrary.org.